What if someone told you for 1500 bucks you could prevent yourself from getting cancer? Well, that's all it takes to have a radon mitigation system put into your home. Radon is the second leading cause of lung cancer. In our continued partnership with Intermountain Medical Center, we made one woman passionate about spreading awareness. Take a look at this big, beautiful, sandy home. We added the sunroom and walkout basement and extended the deck and brought in granite rocks and just, you know, really wanted to make it nice. In 2002, Jan Paulson and her husband transformed their home into their dream house. But five years later, she developed a nagging cough. She said you have a mass in your lung. Lung cancer. Doctors only gave her four months to live. By the time we find it, uh, it's pretty advanced stage. Since Jan isn't a smoker, she looked at another potential cause, radon. It's estimated that in Salt Lake County, about a third of the houses would have high radon levels. Intermountain Medical Center Director of the Lung Cancer Screening Program, Dr. Denitza Blagiv. If you look at the risk from being exposed to high radon, it can be equivalent to smoking um, several packs per day. The only way to know for sure is really for people to, to test their homes. Take a look. Radon levels under four picocuries per liter is okay, according to the EPA. At four, it's an action level. Jan's house had 24 picocuries per liter. That's six times the approved level. So she paid for a mitigation system. And they just dig a hole in the cement, and then they kind of scoop the soil around mm -hmm. so that it gives a pathway for the gases that are living in the soil to come and go up through this pipe and it's vented outside to a fan and the fan sucks the gases out and then dissipates it up above the roof. Levels drop from 24.9 to 1.7. Mitigation costs $1,500. Jan's cancer treatment, $1.25 million. I had my right lung removed and I did four months of chemotherapy and five weeks of radiation. After six years cancer-free, you have about a fist-sized tumor in your brain, and it's probably lung cancer. That's where it likes to go, is the brain. Eight brain surgeries later, she's in remission again. But most of all, she enjoys the moments she would have missed. I decided, no, you know what, I'm not done yet. I'm not done yet. Jen Paulson now fights for radon awareness and pushing legislators to enact a law that would require radon testing. Dr. Blagiv says studies have shown a link between high radon levels and an increased risk of leukemia or lung cancer in kids. Kids are lowered to the ground and breathe more deeply than adults.